Joe, where do you stand on Timo Werner? On the one side, never stops running, stretches yeah. defence, scoring the week in the Bernabeu. On the other, three league goals for £47.5 million isn't much of a return. What's your verdict on him? Um, I like him as a player. I would love him as a teammate. You know, you talk, you, you talk to the fans, they, they, they appreciate him because of the work he puts in. I think he makes a lot of goals with his runs, he stretches teams. You know, and one thing you, you can't discount from this, this, this kid is he don't give up and he won't, he, he don't, he don't, he don't shy away from any challenge. If he misses a chance, he'll go again. And I love the fact that he's come back in at this crucial stage of the season now and he's becoming an important part for Chelsea. I still think there's a story for him in his Chelsea career. Three months ago, I might have said it's time for him to, to move on, but you've got to credit his attitude and his desire to keep going. And I think the lads appreciate him. He's one of them players you, that you always want on your side because he never gives up. You know, what? As, as, what when you look at him and what he contributes to the team, you know, yes, you know, when he came from Leipzig, that season, I think he got 29 goals that season or something. So you're thinking he's coming as a striker. So he's missing a few chances. Everyone's saying, oh, he's not scoring enough goals. But what he gives them in big games as well, you know, it kind of like, it kind of like evens itself out. And he, it seems to me that at some stage, he'll get back on a good run of scoring goals. He will always make my team for me. He'll make my team. There's a face being pulled here. I just, he does, I, I agree with what the lads are saying, but he does miss far too many chances and simple chances to get, to be up there with the really best strikers in the world, he's obviously not at that level, but he does miss so many chances Kino, and Kino, simple Kino, chances. I saw it, like you say he missed chances, and I saw him in a game, I think it might be in the Southampton game, he hit the both posts yeah, and did. the crossbar. Yeah. Um, you know, it's all of us, yeah, so, but what do you get for that? Yeah, but, no, yeah, but I'm you saying, get, you get another, that. Yeah, but another day, bam, he's, he scores four Would goals. Would you be happy game. with that? Hitting well, two honest, posts? No, I probably score those. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, that's just unlucky. We've got a situation yeah. here where there's £150 million pounds worth of strikers at Chelsea yeah. in Werner mm. and Lukaku, yeah. which is the big, you know, elephant in yeah, the room. Yeah, but you're talking like Werner ain't done nothing. Werner, Werner's, Werner's done stuff. Yeah, Werner, yeah. Werner was... But I'm talking in terms of goal scoring. I look at the two characters, like Lukaku, when you watch him play, he come on in the first leg at Real Madrid, and you you, you think of body language, yeah. and then he gets the two chances and he misses them anyway. You know, but when Werner comes in, I just there's something about something what he gives the team, he sparks something. So you can sort of listen. Nobody likes a striker that's going to miss chances because you want to just tuck them away so you win the game. But there's something where the lads can go. When he's playing, that you know what you're going to get from yeah. him. Well, he definitely he got yeah. He yeah. definitely got a good attitude, and he seems a really good pro, pro, and he gets in the right areas. But just in terms of that next level up. I'll go back to it. He misses too many chances. You've got Havertz, who does look like he's now assimilated in the English game, doesn't he? Who, who plays with a, do you not think, plays with a fluency yeah, and a bit, ease and, and, a, a, and a comfort? A bit of arrogance. He looks like he's got a bit well, of arrogance. arrogance got, yeah, yeah. And, and, and he does back it up. Mm. And it took him a while again to adapt to, the, to obviously, the English game. But again, a talented boy, big presence. And again, I'm sure he'll have a big power to play today.